brand new consoles out, the holidays are just over the horizon, and there's no better time now than to be a lover of video games. What's up Pro Guides family, my name is Nathan Ng, and since it's the beginning of a brand new month, we're going to be going over some of the biggest and best releases of December. Spoiler alert, it's not me, but for some reason people do love playing me. There are some awesome games coming out this month, so we're going to be going over what the biggest releases are, from the long-awaited Cyberpunk 2077 to the Breath of the Wild-inspired Immortals Phoenix Rising. December looks like it's going to be a ton of things to be excited for. It's today, it's today. As for our question of the day, what has been your standout game of 2020? It's actually been an absolutely incredible year for gaming, with some truly incredible titles coming out. Are you a fan of the PlayStation titles like Miles Morales, The Last of Us 2, or Ghost of Tsushima? Or are you still gushing over games like Doom Eternal, Animal Crossing, or Valorant? Let us know in the comments down below. With that all being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Number 10. Medal of Honor Above and Beyond Medal of Honor series is one of gaming's forefathers. The first game in the series was published by EA and then developed by DreamWorks Interactive way back in 1999 for the PlayStation. This game was even made alongside the world-renowned filmmaker Steven Spielberg after he directed and produced Saving Private Ryan. Now the series is back once again after 8 years on ice, only this time it's on VR. Medal of Honor Above and Beyond takes the action-packed series away from the usual balance of consoles or PC gameplay and sticks you into the battle by being exclusive on the Oculus Rift. The game takes place on the western front of World War II following a French resistance fighter and OSS agent as they battle back against the Axis forces. Sorry to interrupt, Lieutenant. The game is also said to have an innovative multiplayer VR mode that seeks to bring in a suite of multiplayer modes to players in the VR. It's going to be a completely immersive World War II experience, made by Respawn Entertainment who currently has some of the best developers who worked on the original Medal of Honor on their team. You'll be able to get your hands on this VR shooter on December 11th. Number 9. Sword of the Necromancer Take up the forbidden sword to help Thomas save Coco with arcane powers in Sword of the Necromancer, a crowdfunded roguelike dungeon crawler series on Steam, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch on the 10th of December. Kickstarted by over 5,500 backers, Sword of Necromancer is a dungeon crawling RPG action game with roguelike elements, allowing you to revive your fallen foes to make them fight alongside you as you delve into the depths of the dungeon in an attempt to gain enough power to resurrect your lost love, Coco. I curse myself for not being able to protect that smile. And that's the one thing you asked of me. That I'd protect you. That's why I'm here. It seems like new roguelikes are coming out all the time, and 2020 has been certainly no exception to the rule, but sort of the Necromancer looks like it could be something really special. With a gorgeous art style, a unique minion resurrection mechanic, and intriguing story, it's a game that many fans of the recent roguelike hit Hades are sure to enjoy. While this game will only be releasing on last-gen consoles this year, a version of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X will be coming further down the line. Number 8. The Binding of Isaac Repentance while we're on the subject of roguelikes, it's time to take a step back into the basement, as The Binding of Isaac's Repentance DLC is finally going to hit Steam on December 31st. Is it cheating to add a DLC drop to the list of the biggest games? Maybe. But considering this next foray into The Binding of Isaac's dark and gruesome world is supposedly the size of a sequel with 500 hours of new gameplay, we thought that we'd make an exception. The final DLC coming to 2014's hit roguelike sequel The Binding of Isaac Rebirth Repentance is set to change the game once again from the ground up. The expansion is set to add over 130 items, 100 enemies, 25 bosses, 2 new playable characters, 5,000 potential room layouts, 100 new achievements, as well as a full alternate path for the game with new chapters, a final boss, and a brand new ending. How has Edmund McMillan and his team managed to do all of this? Well, this new expansion is set to officially adapt and include not just the brand new content, but updated and polished content from the fan favorite Anti Birth mod, which has been created with the original Anti Birth team. Will Isaac finally manage to escape his mom's clutches and the basement nightmare that he's been trapped in? Hopefully, we'll get all the answers at the end of the month. Number 7. Haven. Developed by Game Breakers, previously known for the phenomenal indie hit Theory, and set to release on December 3rd, 
Haven is a chill co-op player mode coming on the PS4, PS5, PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, as well as the Nintendo Switch. Haven was developed by Game Breakers as a chance to take a serene and calming break. Developing action games after action games can be exhausting, so they wanted to take a step back and do something a little bit more low-key. The result? A love story of a couple trying to stay together as they escape to a long-forgotten planet. Hopefully I could find something like this, because if that's the case, this love is out of this world. Aren't you a charmer? To us. To us. The true focus, though, is all about the exploration of a huge planet with someone that you care about. The focus of Haven is on the companionship and relationship between the two characters. No strict task to complete, just a planet to discover and a mystery to solve. Number 6. Kronos Before the Ashes Will you be the one to save your homeland from the great evil in Kronos Before the Ashes on December 1st? Don't let death stop you in the action-adventure RPG by Gunfire Games and THQ Nordic on December 1st. Releasing on Steam, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, and Stadia, Kronos Before the Ashes is a prequel to 2019's Remnant from the Ashes and a remake of a previously VR-only title. Originally Game Informer's VR Game of the Year, this game is an atmospheric RPG where you grow wiser, stronger, and more powerful as you explore the depths of the mysterious labyrinth that saps the life of those who enter. As the Chosen One sent into the labyrinth, you'll be facing off against terrifying enemies in brutal combat. But even the best laid plans can go awry, and success is not always guaranteed. If you fall to the creatures of the labyrinth, you will not die. Instead, you'll be cast out of its halls and your character will be forced to wait another year before you can try to re-enter again. Will you be able to uncover all the secrets of the labyrinth, save your homeland, before you become too old to battle against the arcane forces within? Number 5. Empire of Sin Are you prepared to find out just how far a kind word and a game will take you in Romero Games and Paradox Interactive's Empire of Sin on December 1st? Releasing on PC, Mac, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch, this turn-based strategy game puts you in the role of a Prohibition-era crime boss, buying to take control of Chicago's underworld. As a boss, you'll be able to enlist up to 16 underlings to manage your network of questionable businesses, ranging from speakeasies to casinos and so much more. You'll have to protect them both from the law and from rival mafia gangs, while simultaneously expanding your reach by taking over others. A week ago, I got into Chicago. As soon as I did, I started handing out my calling card. Astoundingly, this in-depth turn-based strategy game has been developed by only two people, John and Brenda Romero. They worked on plenty of amazing games together over the last few years, and Empire of Sin is set to be their biggest breakout success yet. Number 4. Sam and Max Save the World Remaster Released in episodic form between October 17, 2006 and April 26, 2007, Sam and Max Save the World is a telltale classic, and you can play it again in all of its remastered glory on December 2nd on PC or Switch. Based on a comic strip from 1980s, Sam and Max Save the World was one of Telltale's first games. It followed Sam and Max, the freelance police, and their various cases. Each of the six episodes featured a different case, with a loose through line of different people being hypnotized. By the sixth and final episode, Sam and Max have discovered the source of hypnosis and blasts off to save the world. Developed by a group of Telltale veterans under the newly formed Skunk Ape Games, this remaster is an update that collects the six-part series into a single game with newly found and overhauled graphics, improved audio, controller support, and other enhancements. It's like a dream! The kind where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. The best kind! The gameplay, stories, and irreverent gags are all the same, and fans who own the original on Steam or GOG will receive a 50% off discount if they buy through the same platform again. Number 3. Worms Rumble Is a Battle Royale market a little bit overcrowded? Yes. Are we going to be playing a Battle Royale Worms game anyway? Also yes. Hitting PS4, PS5, and Steam on December 1st, the Worms are back at it again like you've never seen them before in this intense real-time 32-player Battle Royale, where you're only ever a holy hand grenade away from death. I don't know about you, but I've always been a fan of the zany action of the Worms franchise. While turning the backs on their turn-based nature of the franchise does make me a little bit worried, this battle royale format looks like a crazy and fun step forward for the franchise. Featuring fan-favorite weapons like the bazooka, holy hand grenade, and sheep launcher, as well as a variety of brand new additions to the armory like the plasma blaster and rocket shield, this new Worms title seems to be taking out the best of the past and merging it with the best of the present in an all-out rumble. Number 2. Immortals Phoenix Rising Are you a fan of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, who has managed to complete all of the content in Genshin Impact and are just looking for something new to play like me? 
Well, the ancient Greek myth inspired Immortals Phoenix Rising might be up your alley when it releases on Stadia, Epic Game Store, Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox One X on December 3rd. You'll be taking control of Mortal Phoenix, as they battle against gods and monsters alike trying to save the Greek pantheon from the clutches of the mad titan Typhon, who is now trying to get revenge after being banished by Zeus to the deaths of Tartaros. Oh look! She just saved Hermes' Shh! He's about to reveal the plot! This cartoony and lighthearted take on the ancient Greek mythos takes place in a large open world, featuring seven unique locations inspired by Greek gods. It takes inspiration from Breath of the Wild's climb anything, go anywhere mechanics, and marries it with the fantastic Assassin's Creed open style world, complete with spiraling missions and quests. Will you manage to defeat the forces of Typhon, or will your mortal soul fall to the deaths of Tartaros itself? Number 1. Cyberpunk 2077 Was this a surprise to anybody that this was going to be number 1? And will Cyberpunk 2077 be delayed again, or will it actually release on December 10th as it's currently planned? Considering that someone's already managed to get a hold of the game and stream 20 minutes of it, we've got our fingers crossed that the game is actually going to launch on PC, Stadia, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. This action-adventure RPG will be taking place in the gritty, futuristic world of Night City. Megalopolis obsessed with body mods, gaining power and glamour. Night City continues to offer the promise of a civilized future. What? No, no, this isn't happening. Oh, but it is. You'll be taking the role of V, an outlaw mercenary on the hunt for a body mod implant that is the key to immortality. The city of the future will be your playground in this groundbreaking RPG from the team that brought you The Witcher 3. You know, if it ever actually launches. Those are what we think are going to be the biggest hits coming out in December. Did we miss any hidden hits or was the list on point? Like my eyebrows. Remember, Pro Guys family, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that important notification bell so you can get a notification whenever we upload a new video. With that all being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.